Students from Miss Fordall's class have been spending their silent reading time doing something different, reading to Mrs. Kennedy's kindergarten class. I sat down and talked with Mrs. Fordall to learn more about how this idea came about. <laughs> so what made you um, think of the idea to have your kids read to the younger grades? Well, some people take advantage of reading in class, others don't love it so much. So I thought it would be a really good idea to have them actually read with the kids. Um, and the interaction between the older kids and the younger kids I thought would be really good because I've seen it, um, some of it in other schools and stuff. So I wanted to do that and my kids seemed to really like it, so yeah. Do you think your kids um, are, were a little like shy or hesitant to read to the younger kids? Oh yeah, we have the older kids that are shy just like the younger ones, you know, scared to get together. But then Mrs. Kennedy was saying they're waving each other in the hall and that kind of thing. So it's, it's nice to build that in the schools. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? No, I think it's working really well. I mean, we're doing it twice a week and, and like I said, the kids enjoy it. So hopefully we can keep it going. I also talked with Mrs. Kennedy to see how her kindergarten students were enjoying the group reading. How did you feel when Ms. Fordell approached you with the idea of reading? I was excited about it. I know the kids enjoy seeing the older kids in the hallway and I knew that it would be a great opportunity for them to listen to someone read to them and it helps with their reading as well. Um, so do the older kids usually read to your students or do your students read to the older kids or both? Well, right now the older kids are reading to our students and then hopefully as we progress in the year, in the spring, they'll be able to read to them as well. Alright. What kind of books are the kids reading? Well, right now we're reading winter books, so anything to do with winter, snow, penguins, polar bears, all those kinds of things. Alright. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think this is a great opportunity for all the kids, both the upperclassmen and the lowerclassmen, just to be able to get together and make that connection with somebody outside of their classroom. Finally, I talked to some of the seventh grade students about how they were enjoying group reading. How many kids did you read with today? I read with one. And what kind of books did you read? I read one on snowflakes and one on a penguin. And did yeah. you do all the reading today or did your kindergartner kind of read to you? I read it, but yeah, he paid attention pretty well. Uh, what was your favorite part about doing it? Um, I think it was just being with them. It was kind of fun just getting with another class. What was your favorite part about reading to them? They were really, really funny. Yeah, they like enjoyed listening to us and they enjoyed being with older children. Yeah. Awesome. Do you think it's nice to kind of build relationships with some of the younger students? Yeah. yeah. Because right. I was always scared of them, so. Yeah. <laughs> you think they're a little bit scared of you, too? Yeah, yeah, but, like, I mean, when I was their age, I was always scared of the older kids, and I never got the opportunity. So. Awesome. Did your kids, like, read any to you, or did you do most of the reading? I did most of the reading. <laughs> um, I did some of the reading, and then my little girl, she, like, read, was, like, reading, like, what the kids were saying and stuff. Thank you to everyone that was interviewed. Hopefully our elementary and high school students can continue reading together.